Um, we got beat by our parents. We got beat with uh, belts, our hands, spatula, well, their hands, spatula, uh, whips, chains, chainsaws, racetracks, pots, pans, shoes, combs, remotes, extension cords, telephone cords, red lights, chicken bones, newspapers, dogs, teeth, McDonald's arches, tree bark, switches, both picked up by our parents and picked out ourselves. Uh, applesauce packets, foil, barbecue hot, barbecue coals, paddles, um, light bulbs, what, whatever was in, in reach. Shoes, other children, small babies, dogs' tails, quiche, um, sausage, the red line around the baloney, combs, brushes, books, magazines, papers, periodicals, microfiche, toys, the sun, headlights, tail lights, brake linings, whatever, whatever they could just hit us with, they they would. And they just, a lot of times they didn't even tell us why they were whooping us. You'd just be asleep. Your grandma would come in the room like a ninja. <laughs> You thought you were asleep? Double hand. You're in there taking a bath, playing with your toys, Mr. Bubbles. I'm bumping out of my cup, they bust it in there. Yeah, you thought I forgot? Sometimes we got beat. Sometimes we got in trouble at two o'clock and they go, they said, I'll, I'll beat you when you get home. And then you gotta spend the rest of your day remembering Hoping they'll forget to whoop you. Just looking around, looking at them, hoping they forgot. And they'll look at you like, God is not for God. God is not for God. That's how you get those whoopings when you're asleep. They let you sleep, like thinking you won the battle. Come in. Oh, you thought I was forgot. The promise whooping. <laughs> Just beat the brakes off you. A lot of times, I grew up with two siblings, an older brother, Jason, and younger sibling, Michelle. They would just beat all three of us. If one, if we wouldn't snitch on each other, be like, who broke this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, y'all don't want to tell nobody? Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. One time, my, bat, my dad beat me so bad, I caught a cramp and my toes did like this. And for whatever reason, my dad left the room and then he came back and he was like, I gave you 15 licks just in case you wanted to know. And I was like, why would I want to know that? I blacked out after three. I was, I was here. Just, just wrong. The worst woman in my life I got from my grandma, Ruth. I was, I was telling everybody in my family they had a big nose. And we was all laughing. I was like, Jay, you got a big nose. <laughs> Everybody laughed. I was like, Shell, you got a big nose. <laughs> and I told my mom, Mom, you got a big nose. <laughs> and I looked at my grandma and I was like, Grandma, she was like, you got a big nose. She hit me with a the phone cord, not the part that goes into the phone, the part that goes into the wall. And I don't even remember going, I don't even remember being put in the bed. I was just, I woke up like three or four days later, just like Jesus in the tomb. I woke up and I had those gray dried uh, tears on my face. And I was just like, what happened? Jay was like, oh, we moved. We live in a different house. <laughs> Oh, she beat me so bad. And they, I see, uh, they used to do a whole bunch of you better not cries. Let me pop you. And you better not cry. Or I'm gonna give you something to cry about. You just gave me something to cry about. Just gave me something to cry about. And then if you, they hit you and you didn't cry, like, oh, you big and bad, you ain't gonna cry. Wah, wah. Yeah, that's bed not, B-E-D-N-O-T. You bed not cry. And you bed not. And I bed not hear another word. 
and I bet not. I'm gonna do a whole nother video about words like that one day. So anyway, I want to teach you guys how to discipline your kids without whooping them because um, I uh, don't whoop them after they assault you, then you better not cry. <laughs> you ever tell them, I'm gonna call 911, call them. You better call an ambulance too because they're taking me to jail or they take you to the grave. You know what, I'm, I'm not gonna call 911. <laughs> Why would I do that? <laughs> Silly me. Why would I call for, for help from our local police? They're not gonna be able to help me, not not from you. My mom had me so afraid that she could, I thought she could beat the, beat the police. Yeah, fix your face. Now fix your face. Ooh, ah, mm, ooh, ah, ah, ah. Now fix your face and you better not cry. Fix it. <laughs> ah, fix it. <laughs> My eye is swollen. I'll show you a swollen eye. Bop, bop. <laughs> so, um, it's funny. We were at a show in Richmond this past weekend, and we were taking pictures with the people at the show, and the mother was like, and fix your face. I was like, ma'am, I'm 32. In my head, I didn't say that out loud because I didn't know how strong she was. But I was just laughing. She's like, now fix your face. I mean it. It's like, What? What are you talking about? And I mean it. Oh yeah, that hiccup after the cry lasts forever. <laughs> uh, all right, let me get to my point, man. Traffic is especially heavy today. Heavy, heavy, you're so heavy, baby. Oh, yeah. Heavy, heavy, you like so heavy on me. Um, So, I got two boys and I don't really whoop them. And it's not because I don't believe in whoopings. I believe that sometimes it's the right choice. Sometimes not. I don't think it's always the right choice because sometimes we just got beat for everything. No questions asked. We don't even know what we did wrong. Just beat bop. Boom, 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 boom. Without nothing. Just, just beat. But there's other ways to discipline your kids without, without whooping them. Tell them you're going to take them to McDonald's. And then drive past every single McDonald's in your town and watch their faces melt in pain. Hey, daddy, you're passing it. You're passing it. <laughs> daddy, you said, you said, you said, you said, you said. Why did you say it? Why did you say it then? Why did you say it if you weren't going to it? You're not telling the truth. I'm gonna take you to McDonald's. Then actually go to McDonald's and then buy yourself a, a big meal. Buy yourself a big meal and then just get them uh, two orders of lettuce. Just get them some lettuce. Can I have just lettuce in a cup? Oh, daddy, I, don't want, I didn't want any lettuce. I, I want a cheeseburger. Imagine it's a cheeseburger. Imagine, imagine me eating a cheeseburger, but it's a, just a cup of lettuce. Yeah, just get them a cup of lettuce. And then you get, don't even get adult food. You get a Happy Meal and eat the Happy Meal and play with the toys. Get the toys and go in their face and be like, mm, oh, this is so fun, I love toys. Oh man, you love chocolate milk. Glub, 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 glub. Look at these little fries. Dip, 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 dip. Nom, 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 nom. Cheeseburger, cheeseburger. And then take the toys and throw them out the window while you're driving on the freeway home. And watch their faces melt to pain. Oh yeah, you gotta trick them. Nah, you see, you gotta extend. The whooping's gonna be over quick. 
You whoop somebody, they cry, the steam goes away. You torture them all day with that McDonald's? Psychological. Psychological, that's like waterboarding. Take all their toys and then hide them. Don't throw them away, just hide them. And then go tell them to clean up their room. And then they're gonna be like, I don't know where my toys are at. And then yell at them for not knowing where their toys are. Where did you put your toy? I, I didn't put them anywhere. I didn't know where they were. So you don't care about these toys? I care. I just don't, I don't know. I, I, a monster, a monster. We don't believe in demons in this house. But I know I had them. Once you get them scratching the back of their head, I know I had them somewhere. I thought I knew I had them somewhere. I thought they were there. Why? Why they're not there? You don't care about nothing. And I ain't gonna buy you another toy. Then they're gonna go to sleep. And then you just put the toys back. <laughs> Did they wake up in the morning? Daddy, my toys are here. I'm gonna be like, what are you talking about? Remember my toys were lost. No, I don't remember anything about that. Remember yesterday, you said that they were lost. I don't, you're acting crazy. Then they don't even know what's happening anymore. They don't know what day it is. What, I, t <laughs> huh? You remember yesterday? Stop telling me of something. You want to? You, you call me a liar? No, I'm just saying. Remember yesterday? No, I don't remember yesterday. You calling me a liar? No, I. <laughs> they gonna be in that room like, what's happening? I'm going crazy. <laughs> ah! Another way you can discipline your kids without beating them is make them go to bed early. And I'm not talking about like, they usually go to bed at nine o'clock, making them go to bed at eight o'clock. I'm talking about they got in trouble Friday and don't even discipline them. But Saturday morning when they wake up, as soon as they wake up and they eat some cereal, make them go to bed. Like that, it's 8 a.m. Go to bed. I just slept. Because right now, if you make them go to bed like an hour too early, they'll just go to sleep. But if you let them get a full night of sleep and then wake up and eat breakfast and then make them go to bed, they ain't gonna be able to sleep. It's gonna be torture. And then bring their friends over and open the window to their front door, their window in their room, and let their friends play. Get a bounty house, order a bounty house, and invite all their friends over and, and let their friends play in the bounty house while they're are supposed to be in bed by the bouncy house because they'll recognize their friends' voices and then they'll come to the window and be like, why do you have to go to bed? It's 9 a.m. I, I, I got in trouble on Thursday. Your dad's amazing. He gave us a bouncy house. You totally should come play. Daddy cannot know, go to bed. <laughs> my friends. But my friends are here. They're laughing. They're laughing. And then let them wake up and then take their friends home. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is worse than a beating. They gonna cry until them tear ducts is clean, empty. Just mind ruined. Because parents, be, we be doing crazy stuff. We ask a kid a question, and when they answer, we tell them to stop talking back. Did not tell you to clean this room up. Yes, stop talking back. I thought you want me answer. If I want you to answer, I would tell you to answer. Did not tell you to clean this room. Oh, you don't want to talk to me? I, I, I don't know what. Why are you talking? Why are you talking? You are asking me the question. You have a question to tell, you asking it. You think you can talk back anytime. You think you big and bad. I don't know whether to talk or not talk. I don't know either way. You gotta take away the electronics. 
You gotta mess with them. Have them go on Netflix, because my kids watch love watching Netflix, and then you just gotta change Netflix to Spanish for their cartoons, and they won't know how to change it back. So they're gonna be watching, um, they're, <laughs> they're gonna be trying to watch Lab Rats, and it's gonna be sound like Telemundo. Daddy, the TV's on Spanish. Oh, y'all don't speak Spanish? No! Well, you should have thought about that when you was acting up. Selena, Selena, her manager, the killer. But it's going to get a desk. El pollo loco. El conquisco de los hijos. El telemundo. Univision. They're going to be so mad. And then just put it in German. Ice frying, dry, cool runnings. They're going to be, they're not going to understand nothing. You got to let them think that they're winning. That's what you have to do. Let them think that they're winning. You gotta let them play with your phone and then they plug it up and you buy a fake phone and you crack the screen and then you pick up that phone and you say, why'd you crack my screen? I did, I put it back nice and neat. You cracked my screen. No, I did it, I checked it. You calling me a liar? <laughs> no, just whoop me. Just whoop me. You gotta get in the mind, people. You mess with their mind. And they're not acting right. You make them hot dogs, right? And you put mayonnaise in the ketchup jar and you put food coloring on it. And you tell them to put ketchup on it. And then they put the mayonnaise on, on the hot dog, but they think it's ketchup. They're gonna be like, what? I don't know why this ketchup tastes like this. Daddy, what's wrong with this ketchup? You messed it up. What's wrong with it? And then you taste it and be like, oh, this tastes fine. Then they're just like, I'm crazy. I'm crazy. I'm totally crazy. Mind games, people. We're smarter than them. You got to wake up and hide. And then when they wake up, they start looking for you. And you you're gone. And then they cry. And they go outside to look for you. And then you yell at them for going outside. Why are you going outside? I told you not to go outside without asking. I didn't know where you were. I thought you were, I was scared. I missed you. I was right here in my bed, sleep. But I could, I looked in there, I couldn't find you. You calling me a liar? Why do you keep doing that? I just want to talk to you. You calling me a liar? <laughs> Guys, if you don't get this yet, I just, just joking. Don't traumatize your kids. Have some fun with them though. I turn the hot water heater off and then make them take a shower. And then they're gonna be like, dad, the water won't get hot. And you touch it and you'd be like, this water is just fine. It's fine. Now get in the shower and they, they have to, but it's freezing. Get in the shower. I just took a shower in this water and it's fine. But it's cold and then you touch it and it's like, it's warm. And then they touch it and it's like, it's cold. You calling me a liar? No, I just know what cold is. I just, just know what cold. Please just whoop me. <laughs> and then you turn the hot water back on and then you take a shower and you come in their face and you're like, <sighs> oh my gosh. <laughs> this is awful. Oh, I don't do any of these things, but boy, it would be so funny if I did. It would be hilarious. <laughs> I'm trying to think of other stuff that you could do to them. Uh, you calling me a liar?
That'd be so funny. Oh, man. Although, if you do this to them, just know that when it's time for you to go in a nursing home, it's a wrap for you. You are done. Once it's nursing home time, they're putting you in the Super 8 living. Where do I get this stuff from? I got a crazy mind. McDonald's one is genius. I always do stuff like when my kids, I take them out when we go to get haircuts and I take them to 7-Eleven and I buy them Slurpees. And when I give it to them and I say, if only one of us can live with you guys and the other has to go to a nursing home, remember who bought you this Slurpee. And I just plant that in their subconscious. I'm just like, hey, Remember who bought you the Slurpees? And they're like, but I love mommy. I love her too. I love her too. But I'm saying, remember who bought you Slurpees? Mommy's worried about cavities. Daddy just wants to have a good time. I take them to Toys R Us and I buy them toys, say, you know mommy doesn't want to do this, right? She wants you to read books. Reading's cool, but who bought you toys? If only one of us can live with you guys, remember who bought you toys. That's all I'm saying. But what about mommy? What about her? I love her too, but it can only be one of us. You understand? Remember who bought you Slurpees and toys? Daddy. 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 I always tell them to love their mom. I tell them to come in there and give a kiss goodnight. When I go in there and they fall asleep, I speak to their subconscious. I have little CDs that I made and I put them on their headphones and it just says, Remember who bought you 7-Eleven Slurpees and toys? Daddy. Daddy. Because it's me or her. I can't be in no nursing home. That's all I'm saying. If it comes down to this, I can't be in the nursing home. I don't, I didn't come this far by faith to being a nursing home. Okay, she'll be fine. Have you noticed there's always more women in nursing homes? Because they can live under those circumstances. The men don't make it. So I need to be with them. I need to have them changing my diapers. Remember who bought you Slurpees, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh man mommy packed you grapes I gave you fruit snacks who are you going to put in a nursing home hmm? me or her me or her she wants you to have she wants you to have celery sticks really fam Really, fam? Celery sticks? I'm looking out for you. I gave you the gushers. Juice in the middle. Juice in the middle came from me. Nobody wants celery sticks. We want gushers. I bought you cookie crisp. If you can only choose one. Let us both live with you. That's the game plan. Let us both live with you, or one of us can live with you, one of us can live with the other. But, if you can only have one, remember who gave you Gushers. It was me. Huh? It was me. You could also 
buy generic cereal and put it in real cereal boxes. Like it's Cocoa Puffs, but it's really Cocoa P Pop. Chocolate Pops. And put the generic one in the real one. And they'll be like, this don't taste right, daddy. It tastes fine to me. You calling me a liar? Bingo. Bingo. All right, guys, I'm on the four or five. That means it's the end of the broadcast. Show love. If you enjoyed yourself, give a heart or two to your boy. 150, 1.5 million is the goal this week, guys. We can do it. We can do it all night long. God bless y'all. Keep y'all. See you at the conference.